So guys, we might have the answer to why we have not seen any promotions for Aquaman 2 and why there were so many reshoots leading up to this trailer that they released. So it seems that a lot of viewers walked out of a pre-screening because of what happens to Aquaman's baby. Yeah, it looks like the reshoots for story clarity yeah. might have been like fan backlash. So like this article says, Aquaman 2 kills baby, viewers walk out. So right off the bat, that sounds ridiculous because why would that happen in a Aquaman movie? And that's nothing like the tone that we got from that trailer. That trailer looked goofy. Yeah, well, and that's not the tone we got from Aquaman 1. I'm a little <laughs> lost, but fair enough. And they said that this was going to be a more lighthearted, more silly Aquaman. And if they were planning on having it be like Aquaman's baby is killed by Mantis, that seems like a very strange uh, creative direction. You have the good ideas. Shut up. Maybe that's what the reshoots were, was to take this out of it and like to make it more fun. But at the same time, you know, we saw with the Suicide Squad, James Gunn has a very dark, for lack of a better word, sense of humor. I can see James Gunn trying to pass this off as edgy, because that's kind of what we've come to see from James Gunn. Taking very, very dark subject matter and trying to laugh it off. Well, and it would make sense that they're using that as the reason why Aquaman and Mera are going to split up and why Amber Heard isn't going to be in a bunch of the scenes yeah, to explain away why she just goes away. But, like, that's a horrible reason to take someone out of casting. Like, just recast her or don't have her in the can movie you, at all. Yeah. Can you imagine being the test screening after you had, like, that giant petition for, like, five million people saying, we don't want to see Amber Heard. Yeah. And one of us was like, we hear you loud and clear. And we just figure out how we're going to ride her out. They're like, I'm listening. He goes, we're going to kill the baby. And they're like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You're welcome. And you're like, no, no, thank you. You're like, a hard pass. And hard you know pass. somewhere that the studio executor is like, you just can't please these people. You can't please them. <laughs> oh my gosh. But and then yeah. who, and who, whoever's PR idea was to have a pre-screening to make sure that fans actually wanted to see this, good on you because now that they're doing their reshoots and I'm assuming it was to take that out, they're trying to at least save the movie because I can only yeah. imagine how many people would be furious going to see an Aquaman 2 movie thinking it's supposed to be funny and find out like a baby dies. Yeah. And then it says right here, what's with the weird baby scenes in Flash and Aquaman 2? Yeah, this is the second time yeah. that they've had a baby put in harm's way or potentially killed. In a DC movie. It reminds me of that like it's weird, you know, if I had a nickel every time it happened, you know. I'd have two nickels. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, for the flash scene, that was a reshoot. So they reshot a scene to put the baby in there. Yeah. So that's weird. When it really goes to show like the creative vision for this DC EU and like as they transition to the DCU, they're just trying to be like artificially edgy. Mm -hmm. And so everybody's like, oh, let's just have like a baby in a microwave. That'll be edgy. And nobody's like, that's just kind of in poor taste. Or weird or random. It makes and no again, sense. given the history of some of the people involved with this stuff, it seems like a bad choice. Like, you know that their marketing people are like, uh uh, uh. <laughs> like, don't do it. Why would you add more reasons for people to walk out of your film? And it even explains here that the reason this had happened was because in the trailer, you have Mantis saying that I'm going to kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. I'm going to murder his family and burn his kingdom to ash. So I'm wondering if originally they had the baby dying in the house fire along with uh, Aquaman's dad because it says that Aquaman and Mero are the only ones that lived afterwards. Well, and I don't know, if that's the case, I don't know how much of this was reshoots. It must have been a lot because from the trailer, almost everything seemed like this buddy comedy with him and his brother. Yeah, and the random burning of the house. Yeah, and, then... and so I don't see how you can possibly have those two tones exist in the same film. Yeah, and then at what point is it supposed to turn from like a buddy comedy and jokey to serious when you're having Mantis be this villain, yeah. but you're focusing more so on the relationship between the brothers. Yeah, because either it starts as a buddy comedy and then it ends with this tragic, terrible scene, in which case it feels like a massive bait and switch. Yes. Or it starts with this and then like and moments then, later, then he's, how? Like, <laughs> he's like over it and like chuckling and be like hanging out with Patrick Wilson. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I just... It goes to show, like, all these DCU films, they're doing so many reshoots, nobody knows how it's going to end. Well, it, it shows you that they have an issue with telling stories, yeah. and that no one knows from the beginning to end where the story is going to go. Because even if that's the case, like, it starts off as a buddy comedy, and then this tragic thing happens, yeah. and then it turns serious, there's not enough time 
for you to go through all those emotions and for it to actually make sense and for you to be emotionally invested in everyone that's supposed to be yeah. hurt in the process. And like the article points out, and it's true, the uh, in the comics, like his son does die. But it, that was like a very controversial comic. And even if that happened in the comics, because how many movies have we watched where directors have completely gone off script and the movies or shows have been completely different than the comics? So why would this be the one time they actually want to be faithful to the comics? That just feels like, an, you know, just basically how things have been going for the DCEU in general. Like, the moment they try and make it comic book accurate, they're picking stuff from the comics that nobody wants to see. Or... They're executing the tone in such a way that nobody wants to witness it. Yeah, especially when it says the Aquaman movies have to be more of on the fun side of things and not as dark. And Peter Safran and James Gunn had said that it was supposed to be funnier and lighter. There is a humor in this movie that is far greater than even existed in the first. So how do you have humor that's far greater than Aquaman 1, but then people actually dying in this movie? Well, it seems like the whole thing's going to be like a giant dead baby joke. That's not... <laughs> No, it's not funny. And it's not funny. I, like, why would that even yeah. be acceptable? Like, you would think your PR team would be like, no, 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 we don't yeah. even want to touch that. Well, and it's, again, Peter Safran and James Gunn. You keep seeing one moment they're like, well, they're not involved with the DCEU, but they are overseeing the reshoots. And then when something goes well, they want to credit them. Like, I just saw an article crediting them for the Blue Beetle, but when the Blue Beetle was doing poorly, everybody's like, well, it wasn't them. They, they no, didn't write no, it. No, not that. It was that James Gunn had very little to do yeah. with the movie and that he only was partially involved. I think we're going to find out that James Gunn has had much more to do and that's why these reshoots are, like, happening. I think it's going to be a lot like what we saw with Rian Johnson in The Last Jedi. Yeah. Joss Whedon when he did the Justice League. Yes. I think that these people are doing reshoots to shape it in their own vision. But it's not going to resonate. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like this video, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.